Right then guys, a uh, quick video, I'm trying a new capacitor that I've got, it's another Maxwell pulse capacitor, uh, I'll be running it off for 20 kV supply from that blue variac, which is 20 amp variac. Um, I've also had something else turn up, which you can probably spot over there. It's a sing uh, three phase, sorry, uh, single pole, uh, 20 kV uh, potential transformer. I have another single phase. Uh, I actually do have another single phase 20 20 kV one coming, um, but I've also got another three phase. Now the three phase one, um, if you know how they work. I'm not going to go into it because I'm not going to be telling everyone how they work because you can pick one of these up uh, quite easily. They're pretty expensive but you can pick them up quite easy. Um, basically I'm going to centre tap them 220 kV, centre tap 40 kV, boom, there we go. Um, I just wanted to answer a couple of questions because believe it or not I get asked quite a few questions. I get asked quite a few questions about my painkillers. Um, it's for a degenerative spine, uh, nothing that can be fixed, uh, just have to live with it, it's one of them done. Uh, the reason I don't have a channel intro um, to all of my videos, uh, this might sound harsh, but believe it or not guys, I don't do these videos to get subscribers. I don't do these videos mm, particularly for my subscribers. Um, it's not on quite true, um, it's hard to explain. I do them to share with people what I'm doing and if people want to sort of like bum along for the ride so to speak then fair play but I also get asked the same uh, another question which is why don't I edit any videos anymore well as I say guys I'm not being rude when I say this it's nice to have subscribers I found friends I talk with people um, but I'm not interested in doing stuff for other people this is my hobby um, I want to share it with people and if people want to see it that's great um, but I'm not you know I, I'm not going through all the hassle of making a channel intro and putting it through Sony Vegas um, before the video is uploaded um, it's too much hassle guys and as I say I'm not being rude when I say it but I, I don't do this for subscribers I do this for myself um, you know, some people might find that a bit harsh, um, but it's just me doing my experiments, and a lot of people actually record their experiments so that if things go wrong, if things go well, they can look over them and sort of see what happened when it failed, what happened when it failed, you know, and all things like that. Well, this is kind of how it is, but I'm just allowing everyone else to sort of watch and join in, so. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to pick up my chicken stick. Now remember guys, if you're playing with capacitors, these are deadly. Um, it's a 35 kV pulse capacitor. Um, obviously very dangerous. Um, I don't suggest you guys playing with them unless you know exactly what you're doing. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and move over here. I'm going to plug the variac in. I've got a chicken stick which isn't massively long, but it's a good foot long away from my hand. Um, I don't plan on drawing these arcs very big, so I'll plug the variac in and turn her on. I'll start her off on zero volts and take her up. So the cat will probably do a bit of squealing while it charges, but I've got the gap very, very close. Um, so what I should do is I'll just zoom you guys in a little bit. The camera just flicked out on me. So I can see what you can see. Right, I'm going to turn it up and... It's about 100 volts. As you can see guys, then wires are starting to smoke there. Uh, now, 
as of all things DC power supply. First thing I'm going to do is switch off the Variac, unplug the Variac, but this will no doubt still have charge in it. Maybe only sound sort of quite small, but also DC power supply still have charge. Obviously because it's in parallel, when I take the charge out of this it will more than likely take the charge out of the power supply caps as well. But you can't be guaranteed. And I'll let this cool down now because these wires are hot. Um, but once they've cooled down, this wire will be going to that side and screwed to each terminal. Um, so there you go, guys. There is a, another pulse cap. Um, I've got a few more, uh, which I haven't actually ever really tested. Um, because I've not actually really had a, you know, a half decent power supply to run it, except a ZVS. And of course, with a ZVS, you don't actually know the output. Um, and some of the caps I wouldn't want to blow up. Um, that capacitor there, for its size, is uh, quite small. Um, I've also got this Maxwell capacitor, which is another pulse cap which if you see the size comparison I'm doing it all back to front so sorry about this there's that one and then I have another one which up until I got this capacitor I'd never actually heard of the make um, but as you can see that one is even bigger again the bottoms are in line with each other there. So there's my three plastic pulse caps, should we say? Uh, they're all oil filled. Um, so yeah, that's about it then, guys. And uh, I hope you understand a little bit more about my channel now. As I say, it's no disrespect towards anybody. It is um, it's just how it is. <laughs> I'm really not into making money, I'm really not into making videos when you've got to edit them. I like to see things raw, I like to see people's videos raw as well. It's sort of kind of what makes the difference. Um, now I said earlier about this potential transformer, I've had to have a, Mrs. bring it up here, it's sort of stuck where it is at the moment because I can't actually move it. Um, I will get it up and running uh, off of my big variac over there, somewhere, yeah, there, it's under a load of KV meters, there's my little project AC to DC box, um, that's going to be plugging into this Variac in the ports I put in, so there you go guys, um, I don't know whether I'll make a video of that 20 KV one until I get the other one to match it so that I can do a pair, so anyway, thanks for watching.